So one of the Hamas leaders who was the architect of the October 7th massacre on Israeli civilians, Yaha Sinwar, was held in an Israeli prison where it was discovered he had a brain tumor. Israeli surgeons removed that brain tumor and he lived. And a dentist who helped treat Yaha Sinwar while he was in the Israeli prison, his nephew is one of the hostages that was taken on October 7th from Israel. Dr. Yubel Bitten was a dentist at the Israeli prison where Sinwar was incarcerated for murder until 2011. Bitten revealed he was related to Tamer Adar, a 38-year-old, and his grandmother, Yafa Adar, 85, who were kidnapped from kibbutz near Oz. Bitten's nephew, Tamer, is the father of two small children who survived the attack on October 7th. Bitten said he was against Sinwar being released. I spent a lot of time with him, and it was clear to me that he would rise to the top within Hamas. I know how cruel he is. I have never underestimated his abilities, but unfortunately, others have. Bitten said Sinwar, who was incarcerated in Israel, learned Hebrew and studied Israeli history and politics while in prison. During a medical checkup at the prison in 2004, doctors discovered that Sinwar had a brain tumor, and in 2008, they were able to surgically remove it. Bitten went on to say, the fact that we saved his life cost hundreds of children and old people their lives. You want to free Palestine? Free Palestine from Hamas.